हरे कृष्णा फोकस ऑन द प्रेजेंट बट डोंट फ्रैगमेंट इट फ्रॉम द फ्यूचर लिव इन द प्रेजेंट पीपल से यस लिव इन द प्रेजेंट नाउ वी लिव इन एन एज ऑफ ह्यूज डिस्ट्रैक्शन द डिस्ट्रैक्शन कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ गैजेट्स विच गिव अस मोटिव नोटिफिकेशंस एंड दिस एंड दैट विच कैन डिस्ट्रैक्ट अस और दैट डिस्ट्रैक्शन कैन आल्सो बी फ्रॉम आवर माइंड इटसेल्फ we are doing one thing but our mind is caught up in oh maybe about what about that what about that our mind oscillates between the past and the future and doesn't focus on the present so in that sense live in the present is a is a valuable uh, thing to tell us yes we should live in the present whatever we are doing we focus on that activity and by focusing on that activity we can do it well uh, rather than not get distracted at the same time no we shouldn't just get caught in the activity without considering its consequences so live in the present but don't fragment it from the future we shouldn't think that the present is all that is going to exist and there is going to be no future the present is going to give uh, birth is going to be one of the factors that determines the future and actions have consequences or sometimes we may just engage in gross sense gratificatory activities immoral anti devotional activities and these have karmic consequences if we use the uh, if we can make live in the present as the simple as the only governing doctrine of our life then we may think oh i am enjoying right now let me enjoy i will not worry about the future at all no yeah we have to consider choose our present actions in a way that they bring a bright future for us otherwise we may think i am living in the present but the present will become the womb of misery in future krishna talks about this in the bhagavad gita when he talks about the nature of passionate pleasures in 18.38 he says vishaye indriya sanyoga yatad agre amrito pamam pariname vishamiva tat sukham raj samsmritam so he says vishaye indriya sanyoga and when there is a contact of the senses at the sense objects vishaya indriya sanyoga vishaya is sense objects indriya is senses sanyoga is contact when there is contact of the senses with the sense objects yat tadagre amrito pamam there is nectar in the beginning amrita is there in the beginning but what happens there after pariname vishamiva afterwards there is poison 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 pariname vishamiva and what is the that tat sukham raj samsmritam this is happiness in the mode of ignorance so sorry in the mode of passion that means we may enjoy right now we may say live in the present focus on the present but don't fragment it from the future that means if we we think oh the present is all i'm going to have i may just enjoy the food that i'm eating enjoy the food that i'm eating enjoy the food that i'm eating but if i overeat uh, i may i may get a stomach upset i may throw up later i may get i will get obesity maybe diabetes i'll have a lot of health complications so we need to focus on the present but we don't have can't fragment it from the future that means we know that the future is going to come and the present is going to determine the future uh, in a significant way so let me may act in the present in a way that it brings about a bright future for myself not that i want the present itself to be enjoyable sometimes in the present we may have to do actions which are not enjoyable which are unpleasant but that unpleasantness in the present will will give birth to pleasantness in the future that is the nature of happiness in goodness in 18.37 krishna says that yatad agre vishamiva pariname amritopamam tat sukham satvikam proktam atmabuddhi prasadajam yet the gray vishamiva that which is like poison in the beginning pariname amritopamam but the result is nectar so for example a student may not want to study and if the student is told to live in the present focus on the present yes that will not be very pleasant but if the student keeps studying then gradually there will be understanding there will be good marks there will be a bright career and there will be auspiciousness so pariname amritopamam the result is nectar and this is what one should strive for so we focus on the present even when the present is unpleasant we focus on it knowing that it is the womb of a bright future and knowing that we can't do anything about the past we can't do anything about the future directly 
we focus on the present but knowing that the present leads to the future we don't fragment the present from the future rather we connect with the present connect present actions with future ramifications of the actions and therefore choose the present actions that bring about auspiciousness in future thank you hare krishna